Hello investors, this is a video on IFL Securities. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Like our videos, share our videos, click on the bell icon for new video notifications. IFL Security has reported strong performance with 1698 billion assets under management and custody, 86 billion rupees mutual fund under asset management, 2500 billion rupees on average daily turnover. The company has 4.4 rating in app. The company has 8.95 billion gross margin trading facility book. The company has completed 17 transactions in the investment banking segment. Company's legacy business in retail broking and distribution, a legacy of over two decades in retail broking and financial product distribution. Business offerings comprise equity, commodities, and currency broking, demand services, portfolio advisory, and distribution services and products. Asset under management is in billions in FI, H1FI 24 stands at 1698 crores. The AUM breakup is given as mutual fund that 8%, bonds 18%, fixed deposit 15%, AI 15%, BMS 18%, loan at 2% and others at 4%. The retail broking income in million is 4695 in FI 23. In H1FI24 is 2,862 crores. FPD income is 2,436 million. In H1FI24 it stands at 1,697 million rupees. The company's focus on profitable customer acquisition in line with the management strategy of focusing on the affluent segment. Average daily turnover in cash 24 billion rupees. Average daily turnover in F&O is 2,475 billion rupees. Average daily turner, turnover in total in billion is 2,500 billion per day. The product offerings of the companies include mutual funds, EIFs, PMS, IPO, insurance, fixed deposits, bonds, NPS, loans. The company insurance products are life, general and health. Companies open architecture, modern and distribution. Mutual fund and insurance are retail focused products with good long term growth prospects. Insurance premiums amounted to 974 million in half year 1 FI24, up by 3% year on year. The mutual fund AM is up at 16% year on year to 85.9 billion rupees as of 30th September 2023. The SIP AUM is up by 34% year on year. To 22.9 billion rupees with an average transaction count of 1.6 lakhs per month. The company's retail focus on insurance and mutual funds. The mutual fund AUM is at 85.9 billion rupees. SIP transactions are 160,000 in H1 FI 24. Life insurance is at 1,588 million rupees. Where non life insurance is 1200 million rupees. The company has strong research capabilities, sectorized reports, and stocks and recoveries. The company has 267 stocks under its coverage, including agriculture, auto, banking and finance, building material, capital goods, cement, chemicals, consumer, discretionary, and electricals, FMCG, infrastructure, IT, insurance, and general insurance, media, metals, mid cap, oil, and gas. The company market cap in bracket is IFL Research Universe is 59 in above 10 billion dollars between 5 billion and 10 billion is at 49. Pedigreed institutional equity team comprising of 35 analysts covering over 267 stocks across 20 plus sectors accounting for 74% of the Indian market capitalization. The top tier ranking with most large long only domestic mutual funds. Investment banking revenues is at 1,287 million rupees in FI23. The company's transactions include QIP of 50,000 million for Union Bank, QIP 23.04 Brookfield Real Estate, IPO of UDS with 6,400 million, IPO of Yatra Online, Zagel Prepaid Funds India. Completed 17 transactions in the last quarter of 26 in this half, half year across capital markets in private equity include 6 IPOs, 2 QIPs, 2 FS1 buyback and a number of placement private equity transactions. Completed the largest QIP in the last 2 years. 
While the number of managers in private equity and IPOs, the company is ranked number one in IPOs in FI23 and first half of FI24 as per the prime database. Consolidated results uh, for the company Q1 FI24 is at 4091 million, a growth of 24%, total expenses at 3085, a growth of 28%, profit before taxes. 1025 million and 36 percent profit after tax is 746 million at 44 percent total income is 45 percent financial trends total revenue is at 13,704 million rupees as profit after tax is 2,480 million rupees return on equity is currently at 24 percent for the half year of FI24 net worth is at 15.3 in H1 FI24, EPS stands at 11.9 in H524. DPS is at 37%. The company is serving full spectrum of customers spread across affluent individuals, institutions, and corporates. Customer centric, goal based offering targeting affluent segment, asset under management of 10 lakhs and above, combined with the innovative product wrappers and portfolios. Relationship driven, highly experienced relationship RMs. Strong tech and digital infrastructure enabling digital first customer experience and highly empowering the trained RMs. High volume traders service with high volume traders through dedicated trading desk. Provide superior tech infrastructure and trading interface to day swing traders and algorithmic trading. Offers best in class risk management services. Institutional equity strong research backed by in depth knowledge about capital markets. Doing 270 plus stocks under research coverage with 76% of market capitalization. Company is a leading institutional broker with strong execution capabilities. Well positioned in the investment banking sector, supported by customer and market understanding across segments. Leveraging strong distributional reach across all segments. Strong presence in equity markets. The company share price has done well for the last one year. In the last one year, the share price has gone up from 65 levels to currently 118 rupees. In the last six months, the share price has gone up more than 100%, giving the returns to the investors. In the last one month, the company share price has gone up rapidly after the announcement of results. It has gone up by 19% from 100 levels to 118 levels. The script had a year high of 124 and a year low of 48 rupees. Currently, the script is trading at the high end of the price band, indicating extreme bullishness. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. This video is brought to you by Smart Investors. Like our videos, share our videos, subscribe to our channel, and click on the new button for new video notifications. Thank you.